Hi everyone, Laura here. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is about recycling using supplies you already have or paper scraps from your projects. I'm going to show you how to make paper beads so you can create this necklace. For today's project I used the Doof Craft over the rainbow paper pack. Who doesn't like rainbow paper, right? There's so many pretty patterns inside that you'd want to use them all. You can even use the cover to create the beads. Here are a few examples I made earlier. You need paper, mine is 12 by 12 inches, ruler, pencil, glue and a knitting needle or a skewer. Mark the paper with desired bead sizes. The width you measure will be the length of the bead. I'll be making different sizes. You need to create a triangle. To do so, you can trace a rectangle, mark the middle on one side, and using that as a guide, trace your triangle. Here are my triangles. The space between the triangles will be, well, more triangles, of course. Now all you have to do is cut them out. Here are the different sizes I created. I have 4 inches, 2 inches, 1.5 inches, 1 inch, 3 quarters of an inch and half an inch. The next step is rolling your beads. Take your needle or skewer, place it on the base of a triangle and start rolling the paper on it tightly, then roll all the way. When you reach the end, add a bit of glue and close your bead. So whenever you have scraps of paper left from your project, you can just roll them and make more beads. As they become smaller, it's easier to roll them in your hand, as you can control better the way the paper rolls.
If you want to create a more round shaped bead, make it around half an inch wide and have a longer strip. Before using your beads for your project, it's good to add a water resistant film to protect them. I'm using the glossy finish decoupage which I love, but you can use Mod Podge as well. Leave them to dry. Choose the beads you're going to use for your necklace. Add a tassel or anything you want. You're also going to need thread, some jewelry findings, and your pliers. Next, you need to thread your beads. Add the findings and you're done. Now let's do a pair of matching earrings. You'll need two paper beads, two head pins and two fish hooks. I added two glass beads as well. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. If you liked this tutorial and want to be notified about my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you here again soon. Happy crafting!